Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen about the reference uh, template reference, right? Now, in this video, we will see about the context property. What is this context property? Here in the setup, you will be able to see that it is setup is accepting one property that is props. In addition to this props, the setup also accepts another parameter that is nothing but the context. So, what is this context and what, what will exist in this context? Let's try to print the console. So console, let's try to print the console and let's try to see the context data, what it will be having. If I go to the context here and if I try to refresh this page, okay, if you see here, you will be having one object expose and in this object, you will be able to see attributes, emit, props and slots. So attributes means, means nothing but the non-property attributes, which are not mentioned in the property attributes. These are all comes under the non-property attributes. And the emit will be the custom event. So if you want to fire any custom event, so this is the custom event. And the props will be the props thing. So here we are sending the props user details, right? You will be able to see this props. And also the slots will be in the component. If you are using any slots, named slots or any slot, slots, if you are using this, it will be coming in, into this into this. Okay, let's try to see this how we can get the data. For example, see this is the user data, right? So if you are having this user data, if I go here user data like this oh sorry so now if i want if i write here class is equal to leela class okay so this is a non property attribute okay so these this type of attributes can be accessed using dollar attrs in the option api now here in this one if you want to access miss in the context you will be having dot attrs right so you have seen already dot attrs so if you check the output here you will be able to see this class so leela class so what are the non property attributes are there you will be able to see in this dollar uh, sorry in the attrs so now if you want to if i try to refresh it again and here we are having slots right so how we can get this slots thing so here if i go into this one and if i print here user data okay so in between this closing and opening tags we can write some html right so con some custom html we can write hi slot or something like that. so this is the due if i want to use this one as a slot in this particular template what i what i need to do i can use slot here like this and if you want to use this html in the logic so here you will be able to see the data if i try to refresh this one okay now let's try to see whether the slot you are getting here yeah, here the slot data we are able to see in the component and here in this expose if you want to see slots here in this one you are able to see this default slot see by default uh, by default we don't have any named slots right? so that is the reason we are getting into the default slot for example if i mention any named slot something like template okay like this we can mention the named slot so here i can use hash header and here i can write div header slot like this if i use like this and if i want to use this slot somewhere so i can write it directly be, be, before here slot i can use and i can write it here name is equal to header okay now if i want to refresh this page okay if i refresh this page again i will be able to see here header slot i am able to see and also slot lila here default slot i am able to see. if i see in the expose or dot slots you will be able to see here in the target i am able to see the header slot and the default slot see so And here you will be able to see the default slot, uh, de default slot and the header slot. Okay, so in this way we can access the slots. Now another one, props also you will be able to see that props data. You will be able to access this one directly. The props you are getting as a separate uh, property. Okay, in the separate parameter you will be able to access this. If you want to access in the context also, you can be able to access. Now the last one, what is remaining is the emit thing. So what is this emit? So in the in the options API, if you want to uh, emit a custom event how you will be using so this dot dollar emit so emit uh, emitter name so emitter name you will be using and the data whatever you want you will be sending right so here that this will not be accessible in the setup as we already know so how, how we can send the custom event is using the context dot emit let's try to send the con uh, some the emit data if you go into this app dot view here what i will try to do is i will try to change this first name okay now what what i will write is uh, so here i will write a div okay and in this one one button change first name or something like okay change first name 
and here I will be writing at the rate click dot prevent change first name okay whatever the name you want you can give and this is the function we are having right and here in this one what we will try to do here the function change first name I will write and this one need to be exposed into the template so that is the reason I need to mention in the return object and here what I can do is context dot emit so I can write some emitter name custom emitter name change first name or something like this and I will change emitted change name or something like this I am I am sending some data okay so change first name so I want to listen to this one so where I can listen in the app dot view and in this user data I can write the custom event something like at the rate change first name so hyphens can be moved to a Pascal case and here I can write first name whatever the name you want you can create so method you want you can write and first name change here I can go and I can use this one in the return so we need to expose it to template same thing and here I can write first name change and here I can write that user not user first name okay so first name dot value is equal to so how can I get the data I can automatically get the data in the event we already know that event so I can directly assign it to the event here now let's try to check the output here I can close this one and if I refresh this one okay if I click on change first name here you click here see emitted changes name here we got the data you write something here and if I click here automatically change it see here okay so that means we have successfully emitted the event from child to the parent so in this way in the composition API so the context plays a very important role in raising the uh, custom event from child to the parent I hope you understood about this context property uh, context uh, object what are the what are the things what are the keys present in this context object you will be able to see so here we have seen that ATTRs and the slots and also the custom event how to raise the custom event also we have seen so this is the use of context in the composition API if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you